and I want you to stay tuned because Kansas Doll Show video that I do is coming up very soon. I'm editing it together and you want to stay tuned for that. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe right now so you don't miss it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Yvonne, and welcome to having you on. It's the Thursday announcement time, and I'm so glad you're here because I get a chance to share Tiffany with you, as well as what the theme is for this week for Theme Thursday. It's a theme we haven't done in a while. I know I've said that before, but it's true. We haven't done it in a while, and it's so very due. It's time for polka dots polka dots. What goes along with polka dots? But stripes. Well, they don't normally go together unless you really want to make a statement, but it's time for polka dots and stripes, but they don't have to be together unless you really want to. <laughs> but I also have an alternative for you coming up. So let's go ahead and get Tiffany Dresden's <laughs> little polka dotty little sleeper. It goes on forever. I hope that it fits her and I hope that you're all doing well. So let's go ahead and get little Tiffany dress. She will help out, I'm sure. I love this bright pink that's going on along with the polka dots. Can't get enough of polka dots. Yeah. <laughs> and they also have little lime green polka dots in there too. So it's very colorful and lots of fun. And I hope that you are having fun. I noticed a lot of people joining in on last week's theme Thursday in the brand new theme that I introduced. I thought it would be fun to do, and it was. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I hope to get some more new ones in there as well as they arrive. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put this on her. She really has her fingers spread out, so it's a little bit harder to dress her in this. And get her all set. Here we go. One last, yeah, like I said, she's, she's really hard to put on long sleeves. Do you find that? Is it easier to close, clo is it easier to put on closed fist, hand, at reborns than it is open hands? Although I do like open hands a lot because open hands can hold on to things, little props and whatnot. It's been a while since I put on jammies on her. So let's see if I still know how to do it. Yes, I do. <laughs> and come along with me and I will share some more reborns with you. But wait a minute, I totally forgot her headband. Here we go. <laughs> I was very colorful, I had to be, to go along with her jammies. I was looking and looking. <laughs> oh, it looks delightful. <laughs> oh, she makes me so happy. Well, come along with me and I have some more reborns to share with you. You didn't think I wasn't gonna get any more polka dots out, did you? <laughs> of course I would. <laughs> Here we go. You got to see big, bold polka dots on Tiffany, and now it's time for big, bold, but somewhat subtle <laughs> stripes on Sam. Who am I kidding? These are big, bold <laughs> stripes. <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to share them with you, but I didn't stop there. We're gonna have a little lovey that has lots of stripes. And it kind of goes along with the shirt. Have lots of fun with this theme of either polka dots or stripes. Come along with me and I have some more Reborns to share with you. How about the Sandy Twins? Here we go. Here are my Sandy Twins, Huey and Morgan. Did you notice that Huey's just a little bit taller than Morgan? And I dressed him in this little vintage romper. It looks so adorable on him. And you have to look very closely. You notice the collar has some stripes, but also going up and down vertically is some very light stripes as well. But look over at Morgan. Something funny happened with Morgan. I decided to dress her in a romper as well that had little polka dots all over it to go along with the theme. But whoopsie, they're not exactly polka dots. They're more like little cupcake sprinkles. But I think they're close enough to polka dots, so I'm gonna go along with that. <laughs> I think it works anyway. And I hope that you have fun looking through your own dolly wardrobe. We're probably already doing that now, so you can find some stripes or polka dots or both. <laughs> Come along with me, and I have someone I wanna share with you. 
Here we go. I realized I didn't share Marianne with you in a while, so I had to hurry up and get her out and get her ready for this week's theme Thursday. I went to go looking through my dolly wardrobe and I came upon this striped top. There are stripes for girls to get to go look and there are some outfits. I've seen them with stripes for girls and this is very girly with the flowers and all. But I was wondering if I could mix polka dots and stripes together and I kind of succeeded i found this headband that had little polka dots on it as well and you kind of look at the flowers in a different way and you can see some polka dots see what i mean the center of the flowers is polka dots and there's stripes going on yeah use your imagination there it is hope that you have fun did you find some stripes i bet you did go looking for some polka dots too but wait a minute i have to introduce the alternative theme and it's coming right up and it won't be what you think it is well you might Kind of. Here, Here we go. Here is Penny, and she's going to help out for the alternative theme announcement. Every week, I always provide an alternative to go along with a theme to give you more chances to go digging in your dolly wardrobe for the alternative theme. Just in case you may want to do that, can't imagine you not having stripes or polka dots, but it's also fun to do the alternatives every week as well because they're a little bit different to go along with the theme. And this one is no exception. It is gingham. Well, it's stripes going both horizontal and vertical in a checkerboard pattern. And that creates gingham. <laughs> and I so love Penny in pink. I got a compliment about Penny wear pink. She does wear pink well. And I decided to dress her in this sweet little dress that I got from Arlene. And look, it is gingham. But I went a little bit further digging in my dolly wardrobe and I was looking for those polka dots because I just wanted to put polka dots there too. And I didn't have much luck well, I do have some polka dot shoes, but just not in her size. But I did find these cupcake shoes that I had, and it's kind of polka dots. <laughs> We're going to go along with sprinkles being polka dots because <laughs> they're kind of that way. And I also got out a little bottle that would have worked with last week's theme because it has a giraffe on it. But you notice it kind of is kind of. You know, we're stretching a little bit, but it is kind of gingham going on. And look, polka dots too. See, polka dots on the butterfly there. I, I tried. <laughs> and I hope that you have lots of fun looking for accessories as well to go along with the theme. It's always fun to see what you have. Well, come along with me. I love to share with you. Azrael, here we Here's go. my Azrael, and I decided to dress him in big bold stripes. But let me tell you what happened behind the scenes. I want to go looking in my dolly wardrobe, and I found this gown that I haven't shared before. And I was looking at it really closely, and I thought, are those polka dots? They're ever so tiny. Yeah, they were really tiny, but they're not regular polka dots. These were aligned polka dots, like going in rows. And I wasn't sure, is there a rule of polka dots? Do they have to be like confetti just going everywhere? Can they be lined up in rows? So I was a little confused. So I just thought, well, I'm just going to dress them in stripes. And I also went over to GJ Maxx because I looked at the calendar and Halloween is coming up. So I thought, well, I kind of want to see what they have there. And I was looking around. I found these cute little barrettes and I thought they were fun. And I think I'm going to make them into headbands or, you know, simply just clipping the barrette onto a headband. I just thought they were cute. Yeah, because <laughs> Halloween's coming up, I don't want to miss. Well, come along with me, here's Jen Jen and Leanne. If you noticed last week, theme Thursday, Leanne was not in the video. So Jen Jen wants to make sure that she's in this week's theme Thursday announcement by holding her big sis's hand. I know, she's here. <sighs> but you did miss her. You got to see her on Facebook and Instagram, just in case you wanted to see her with her outfit for last week's theme Thursday. But I wanted to point out something. There is rules about polka dots. Well, maybe there's not. I'm not sure if there's any rules about polka dots. But let's take a look at Zhen Zhen's little dress. It has a little mock apron. Well, it isn't a mock. It's really an apron, I guess. But the belt of the dress has polka dots in symmetrical pattern in other words they're in rows while the other part of her dress with polka dots has polka dots where they don't want to be next to each other yeah not an abstract pattern but a different pattern where they're not right next to each other not lined up in symmetrical pattern i don't get it i don't get it 
<laughs> and there must be some sort of rules about polka dots that I don't know. But I also dressed Lee in in this cute little top that has little tiny polka dots on it as well. I also put on little shorts to keep her cool for the summertime. Oh, what I want to point out her shoes. See her shoes? I've been having these shoes in my adult wardrobe forever and I just didn't have any outfit to put on Lee in that would work with the shoes because, yes, yeah, see there, see them? I didn't have anything and then I looked, oh, the work. <laughs> That's what's so fun looking around your dolly wardrobe, especially for these themes. You put things together that you didn't think you could put together and they work together. So I hope that you have lots of fun with this week's theme Thursday of polka dots or stripes or the alternative theme of gingham. Apparently there's no rules with polka dots. <laughs> That's what I'm learning. <laughs> I hope that you take care of yourselves. Theme Thursday, bring the community together one theme day at a time. That was my slipper falling off. <laughs> what that was? To take care of yourself and stay tuned for upcoming videos of the Kansas Doll Show and my haul as well. <laughs> take care everyone. The Reborn Feel Good Channel.